Hi all, tonight I'm going to do some more work on the FX61. So what we're up to here, I've got the flight controller all sorted out. We've got some pins in it now. Um, basically got everything, basically got everything ready to hook into it. To my Maytech F411. Um, we're going to position that into the bottom of the craft up near the back here. ESC is going to go up along the side and we'll mount our GPS over here. I've got some, I've put some pins, some small pins on the ends of, end of my um, Partom VTX so that will just plug in onto the pins. That's a nice easy, easy one. Both the servos have got pins. Uh, LEDs I haven't done anything with yet. Uh, and the cameras, the camera, <coughs> camera's ready to go. Okay, I've just put um, another set of pins for the LEDs. Um, it's been interesting this because this is the first time I've ever sold it to a board. Um, I'm actually, I don't mind it. I wouldn't say I'm very good at it, but it's working. I'm just going to test to make sure, make sure everything's powering up and and um, going before we uh, mount it all in. Um, everything should be pretty good. Uh, the only thing I haven't tested is the LED, so I'm just going to hook everything up now, and we'll give it a bit of a give it a boot up and see what happens. All right, so I've got everything hooked up now. I'm just checking. I've got everything hooked up other than my servo, so I'll just quickly plug them in. And then we'll just double check that we've, that we've got power running on everything at the moment. So everything should be hooked up except for the VTX, but I did test that before. GPS is flashing, so that's a good sign. Yeah, all I want to do is hot glue everything down. I've carved pieces out of the foam here, just that was from the previous build. Uh, but there's plenty of room here for everything. I think I'll mount, oh, I'm going to mount the I'm going to mount the ESC here. Flight controller in here. All right, we'll, we'll start now. I'm gonna put this in hyperlapse and get it all done quick. solid and I have no I do know that I've got this around the wrong way it's all set up to be put around 180 degrees here so that's all good um, just have to try a little bit more so the buzzer's going there I've just I've connected up the split so the splits also connected up straight to the uh, battery terminals actually because that can handle up to 6 volt uh, 6s and I'm only going to be running 4S in this plane anyway, so that's fine. And that's set up as soon as I plug the battery and it'll start recording. The only disadvantage is it's going to be mounted up in the canopy. So there, that's I've made the cables long enough so they're not going to be stretched. And it shouldn't be a too much of a problem. Okay, so the GPS is mounted here. There's no compass on that, so I haven't worried about which way I've sort of positioned that. So next to do, I believe we might plug everything in and just see what powers up the run cam. Can be powered straight up, so that should be all good to go too. We might just give everything a big test and then put it back on iNav again for a bit more of a setup. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna, I've still got to connect up the servos. So I'm going to put the servos plugged in. I just wasn't sure which is which. It's showing here S3 and S4 here, the two I've mounted in with the pins. So S3, I believe, is the right wing. S4 is the left wing. Well, that worked all right. Looking good. There's no smoke. That's a good thing. GPS is flashing. That's good. Now, I've got no receiver in here, so I can't test any of the modes or any of the any any of the receiver side of it. But we'll see if we got any video. All right. So this VTX here. That's it. There, the one I'm using. That's a part on. Trans, it's a 1.5 gigahertz transmitter. So to run that, I've got to use the ground station here. There's the um, receiver. And I've mounted a 5.8 uh, video transmitter here next to it. And that's how I get, how I get picture. So if I look in the goggles. If we look in the goggles, let's see, we got, we got picture. So I'm pretty happy with that. OSD's not quite set up how I want it, but it's pretty good. So there we go. Mission accomplished. So far, so good. We might just get back to tidying a bit more stuff up here with these wires. Um, the only thing I did, f I did, I haven't put in here yet is an airspeed sensor, which is going to mount down the back there, and it'll, it will. It mounts just in here. So that's still coming in the mail. Once I get that, it's pretty much finished. All right, so I just thought I'd tidy up a few wires here first before I go any further here. Now I'm just putting a bit of hot glue down. This is my LED wire running up through here to the front LED and then I've got two ones, two running off left and right. So I'm just hot gluing some of this down just to yeah, just to um, tidy it all up. The battery's going to just sit in front of it there, so I don't want it interfering. All right, so I've got my airspeed sensor for the Phantom FX61. It's a um, it's a Maytag analog speed sensor to go with the uh, Maytag F411 flight controller that's in it. So this is what we're up to now. Once this is done, this is ready for its made and it's all complete. We're going to fit this up now, and um, yeah, I'll show you the steps and how I plan to fit this up as we go along. Alright, my next step <coughs> involves the uh, airspeed sensor. Now I've put the, I've cut the tube and uh, put one on each end. I've just got to work out exactly which goes to where on the sensor itself. I've wired up the four wires it's got on the back here. Uh, we've got a ground of 5 volts, and it says the yellow is a signal, and then I've got a half. So it's got me a bit sort of confused about what half means. It's showing on the F11 board, F411 board, um, uh, SDA and SDC, uh, which is an in and out. Right, this is where I had troubles with the... Uh with the airspeed sensor set up right as, as i mentioned before in a previous video when you're installing the firmware to the f411 wing flight controller um it's saying here i'll, I'll put this up on the screen as well so you can see um there's a couple of clis you've got to put into into inav as well you set those three up here so your airspeed sensor is going to be running off an rssi channel adc channel so if we go down the bottom here, you can see target variant. This is the uh, f the the firmware you need to install to get this airspeed sensor working. You need to install the Matec F411 RSSI for F411 wing. As I've mentioned before, there's many different versions of of the firmware you can install. I installed the wrong one, which is why I'm having problems in this video. Once I worked it out. Um, you need the RSSI version of the firmware to get the Matec, to get the airspeed sensor working correctly. 
analog RSSI import input is on ST1 pad. Uh, soft serial TX1 will be available on the LED pad. So yeah, that's 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 basically it. Hope that helps people that are trying to set the same thing up here because it took me a little while to work it out. So I've gone to Matex website and um, and it's showing here the tubes. I've got two holes, two mounting holes to the right. So looking at it like that, the top the top one here will go to the straight tube on the pito tube, which for me is this this that tube there. Right, so these two tubes here you don't want to kink at all, so you've got to be a little bit careful as to how you're going to mount them so they're not going to be kinked uh, going in. But I'm going to be putting it through like that, um, pretty much, with the pito tube coming out pretty much there. I'm going to cut this little tab off. Right, so all I know, they've got two little holes in the sides here. Which you've got four on this one. You don't want to block them, they need clear air to be able to flow around them. How much I can't tell you, I don't know, but I'm just going to give mine pretty much like that. So my two tubes are coming up here. I'm going to cut a I'm going to cut a little bit of this out here so it's not it's not too hard on the on the bend. So like I said I don't want to I don't want to kink it. So I just hot glued the airspeed module. Should be good. My signal wire here which is a yellow one goes to the S port and the power and the negative just above the GPS power and negative on the F411.